All right, so this is the starting point. Uh, you're loading on top of this little, I'm trying to put your film in this little B right here. So what I'm doing is I make this into a, basically a C. You know, so I orientate it so it looks like a C. This goes over here. And I take the film, go like over the top of the C, and bring it back and tuck it into this little V, right? So it's held. Mm -hmm. Then I push it down into these grooves. These grooves are here to separate the film so the chemicals can get to it, very similar to the photo one we yep. just looked at. So once we get in there, the key here is to keep tension, right? Keep some tension on that. Put this on top. This goes in. And you can use it to actually <laughs> level it or to line them up. So again, with everything film related, you got to keep tension between the the feed reel and the take up. In this case, this is the take up reel. So you want to have this turned a little bit, like uh, kind of horizontal, so it feeds through this opening, and then. This, you can now see how the turntable makes your life easier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before, it was scraping on the counter. Yeah. Like this, this cut pad was an addition to help it like turn better. Yeah. So also, the film that I'm using is a dummy low that's been used 20 times, and it's got some sprocket damage and splices. So if you have a problem loading it now, you won't have that same problem when you're loading your own film, because this thing's got a bunch of, yeah. So if there's any an issue here, it's because there's thick parts of the film. So I can see what I'm doing here, but in the dark you can't, and you, you don't have, a, you know, at this point you don't have a sense of how full this thing is, you've never done this before. Yeah. So I just, uh, at some point, like, will check with my pinky. Don't, don't push the film, because you can knock it off those grooves. Yeah. And I can see I'm gonna have some problems because there's all these splices here. Oh, yeah, that's doing all right. Okay, so when we get close to the end here, again, we can see it, but you'll have to feel it. And what you're feeling for is a groove along the outside edge. Right there it is. That's where your film's gonna end. So I'm gonna find that groove, and you just feel it in the dark. And you wanna break your film right around where that groove's at. You're breaking this because you guys shot two discrete rolls, right? Yeah, you're, uh, you guys shot, there. yeah, there should be 10 feet of nothing in between. If you shot this yourself, you wouldn't break it, you would cut it, because it could be in the middle of the shot, you mm -hmm. know? And you want to save that. Now, I keep, this is up to you. I, I like to use this to help turn. It's just better leverage, but you do have to separate this one from the bottom, and you can't always hold the bottom part with your finger. It doesn't always work, so that's what these pliers are here for set to the wider setting so you can reach in there and hold that still while you unscrew the top. You got a problem with that, with like finding the pliers and holding that still in the dark, you don't need to put that on there. I just, it's better leverage to turn it with. But you can, especially with the turntable, easily turn it with this. Now, um, because there's a dummy load, I'm gonna just break that off. <laughs> so it's just a little easier. Okay. Sometimes you will have some stuff hanging over. And if you're to do that with your with your actual film. You got, you'd rather not have stuff hanging over on the bottom. You want to try to get it lined up as good as you can with that groove. You may be more on top than is going to fit in here. So just remember that the last thing that goes on here is the first thing that you put into your into your camera. Yeah. So you know it's already been exposed. That's the part that's seen light. Okay. So you got anything hanging off? Just tear it off. There's no images there anyway. Okay. So back to the C, right? Remember. And the same thing. You go over that. Oh, we're gonna do another row? Yeah, oh, this is 100 okay. feet. All right. Yeah, so in there and then tuck that into that groove. Get your tension. Top of the space station. The screws in. And again, keep the tension. And then keep this. Now, when you rub this film, you could scratch it. So you kind of want to handle it as, as loose as you can, yeah. but also keeping it turned. And this is, I'm making this look easy right now, but it's, <laughs> don't feel bad if it's not easy. Because it wasn't easy for me to learn. But nobody was there teaching me either, just like watching videos. So. Yeah. Plus, this little feed 
rewind in this turntable make your life a lot easier. I see you have a motion out. I do. That doesn't matter as much. I, I tend to like, all right. What was I saying, Dana? You, oh, that's the end of it, because it's, <laughs> we've cut a lot off. Well, we're talking about the emulsion out. Okay. No, it doesn't necessarily matter. I tend to wind it in the opposite direction that's on here, just so it straightens it out. It's kind of like, uh, wrangling a sound cable or something, you over under kind of. Right. Um, so this comes off. All this happens in the dark, right? You put that in there. This you'll find sometimes it'll be like just turn it until it drops, and then all the way until you can pick it up. Now you're safe to turn the light on. Um, and the way that this light works, when you're in here, see it says off the middle. You want to go all the way up so there's a light out there that says in use. Okay. So somebody knows you're in here. When you're actually loading your film, lock the door too. Okay. Yeah. And that great value. So, and this is the dark too, right? Huh? This is the no, dark. No, no, no. But because the, the stuff's getting older, we'll be extending the developing time and the bleach time. Okay. So the first developer, the bleach, and the second developer, we're going to do longer than this calls for. So. D19 and bleach. You just fill this up. Okay. And then uh, just soak it for five minutes. Okay, okay. So normally, the way you saw it, like supposed to go there, and then it feeds up to there. This is here for the purpose of draining. We store it, we use these for storage too, but they really help with the draining. So this one, the water, it's gonna go down the sink. It's gonna look kind of, it's gonna like purple. It's funny, when it first comes down, you're like, oh, I thought it was water. Um, and then you're gonna do the D19. That goes back in the container and the water for three minutes, and that goes down the sink. The bleach goes back in the container, water back down the sink. Clearing bath goes down the sink, and then you re-expose it. And then the second developer goes back into the container water down the sink, the fixer can go back in the tank. We'll just have to make sure we test it before we do that. Final rinse, usually it's seven minutes, but it's gonna be more like seven minutes and 45 seconds, right? Yeah. You turn it on, it counts, and then when it gets to the end, you know, it like, will buzz for you. Just turn it off. Developer and bleach, you wanna agitate the most, so it's like turning it clockwise, and then, All of them, but mainly uh, the water, not as much. The rinsing, you can do a little bit less. But definitely a developer in the bleach. So as you're working with it, the gravity obviously keeps it from spilling out. But when you're ready to like move on the next step, this has to come out. When it's getting near the end, you just gotta use gravity, make sure it all gets out. Sometimes it's worth it to spin the film out of the way, make sure that all of it comes out. And then uh, after each chemical process, you do a water process too. Okay, which is which is also a chemical, but the, just the just the water and the nothing else that I can find So we have the chemical for a minute and when you get to measuring the chemicals, um oh we find out how well line, look at that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you turn this off, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do too much agitation with pre soak, but. Okay. Yeah. Music is good. Yeah. It's watching it, but I, was, I think what I messed up, we shot a roll for cinematography. We had shot like a, a scene from David Lynch's Eraserhead. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, <laughs> Don't get too confident. So does he need to do more agitation? Nah, that's enough. It's okay. okay. Yeah. Just for the developer, we'll do that. So we're just waiting now. Five minutes. So it's not like it comes out and until you're ready for it to come out, um, and then yeah, just let it in there. It just water. For, if it wasn't water. Yeah, if it wasn't water, see, it's also, it says a little purple. Yeah. <laughs> One water, like, we're going to keep that. Long, you got this thing. Oops. 
timer for you, but go ahead and, it says seven minutes, but I told you we're going to do 745. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't always look that way. This color? Yeah. It doesn't look, looks like apple cider. It's still going to work. I wouldn't drink it either. Definitely. So this is a D19? Yep. Okay. The idea is to make it so it doesn't look like Yeah, but I think we measured it out. That's what that line's for. There you go. All right. It's running, so now you want to agitate it. I just want to keep going. I just want to keep going. Down a little bit. Okay. You really, you really want the... You want to think about how you're trying to get the chemicals to hit everything you know, okay. evenly. Only one way, though? Only to the right, yeah. Okay. This. You always want to rinse this in between because you, know, you don't want the developer and bleach mixing together. Let's go everywhere once you get to the end there. No, 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 you're not nice. Oh, okay. Let me do it again. <laughs> oh, we could reuse it? Yeah. Oh good, the hose is already up. Once that fills up, then um, keep letting it run, but just turn the, put the hose down so it'll just rinse it out, you know what I mean? Okay. And um, then you can do some agitation. Starting to go, yeah. It needs to be oranger. This is the kind of chemical you don't want it to splash up on yourself. Too much, yeah. More. It's not like it's gonna eat your skin away, but it could make you itch. So you just like rinse it off. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I just wanna get it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you guys can slow this up now. Okay. 
What's the temperature in the domestic? Oh, room temperature. Okay. You can still see it as pretty yellow. Yeah. Yeah. that line, yeah. So the ends are going to be like less imagey. The ends. So it's all foggy and all the way. You did pretty good with the load. Alright, let's let the light get to it. Alright, I see some frames coming in. Oh. Frames are good. Take a frame. But um things are made just for strips of film but like you know we would like go down up down up yeah. turn the heat on but then we realized you know just put this whole thing in because it's already separated yeah and as long as it's not on high heat you know it's not going to mess the plastic up so with this in there we just put that in there and then low heat like three and then crank this up it's going to be in there for a while the only reason why i was wet this morning is because i put it back in 